Today I'm going to read you a story called Skippy John Jones and the Doghouse. We read one of the Skippy John Jones books around Christmas time. Remember when he wanted, it was kind of snowy time and they were talking about Snow White, okay? This was the first book I got with Skippy John Jones, okay? And this book is going to help me with a little bit with my Spanish. I'm going to try my best to say the Spanish parts, okay? And then on the bottom it says the author's name. It says Judy Shaner. That's the author, okay? On the back we see Skippy John Jones, okay? And he's got a hat. I wonder what he's going to do with it, okay? All right, remember he's a cat, but he likes to think he's a dog. He likes to think he's a chihuahua. Skippy John Jones in the dog house. Let's find out what Skippy John Jones does. Here's the title page. The book is so big it's hard to hold. Sorry. Alright, here we go. Between, between the hours of 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., Skippy John Jones created his finest piece of artwork ever. What is he drawing on? The walls. That's not good. I went up, it went up and down all around the newly painted hall, and this rubbed his mama's fur the wrong way. Drop that crayon right now, Mr. Doodlepaws, commanded Mama Junebug Jones. You're not the boss of me, said Skippy John Jones. In your dreams, Mr. Beans, said Mama. I cannot believe that in two quiet hours you covered the walls with those cockeyed chihuahuas, she scolded. You are not a chihuahua, you are a naughty Siamese cat. And you need a time out to think about that. The kitty boy did not budge. He did not want to get up. But Junebug could be very persuasive. If you think more like a cat, she said, Mama will catch you a mouse big and fat. I'll dip it in butter and roll it in cheese. All you must do is think Siamese. So there's this kind of cat called a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, or you'll really be in the doghouse, she added, putting him in his room. In fact, Skippy John Jones was thinking was thinking before Mama Junebug even left. So, he's getting a timeout in his room, and his mom said, you better not go in the closet. He was thinking of bouncing. Doghouse, repeated Skippy John Jones, beginning to bounce. First he bounced high, and then he bounced low pointing his ears to the chair down below. Everyone knows from my big ears to my toes, I'm not a Siamese cat, I'm Skippy John Jones, a chihuahua to my bones, and that's what I think about that. So he's like, I'm not a cat, I'm a chihuahua. But he missed the chair and went careening, careening into a pile of stuffed animals. Holy jalapeno, exclaimed, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling a bird from his ear. The little bird says there's a babolito in the doghouse. Quicker than you can say Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, the kitty boy climbed into his mask and cape. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he began to sing, Oh, my name is Skippy, Skippito, is, eh, Skippito Fresquito, clap, clap. And I heard from a little burrito that, a, that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Babalito. So it's a song. It goes, oh, my name is Skipito Frisquito. And I heard from a little burrito that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Babalito. He's a silly cat. Down the hall, Mama and the girls squeezed together on the couch for a little TV. Can Skippy John watch Quiz Kitties with us? asked Jilly Boo. Not right now, Pigeon Puff, answered Mama. Skip, Skipper Doodle still has some serious Siamese thinking to do. Uh-oh, he's going in his closet. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was thinking Chihuahua. Quiet as a cotton ball, Skippito rolled into his closet. He blew past a boulder, chugged up a hill, and arrived alongside a shack perched two bones shy of the end of the world. Where the heck you though am I? wondered Skippito all loud. The place bloomed with sniffing noses. Who wants to know? growled a voice from inside. It is I, El Skippito Frisquito, the great sword fighter, the great bumbolito eater, 
the great fly defeater, and the great spider biter, the greatest poco perito of all, said Skipito. Suddenly, a rope cut the air with a snapito and wrapped around his paw. Whoa, said Skipito, as he flew under the curtain and into the shack. Do you think that shack is really in his closet? Here's the door. Or do you think that's in his ma imagination? The house was chock full of chihuahuas. They were cavorting in the cupboards and splashing in the sink. They were chilling in the ice cube trays and melting into drinks. And sitting right in the middle of the mayhem were his old amigos, los chimichangos. Hola, Skipito. Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, grinned. We have been waiting for you, dude. Si, Skipito, said Poquito Tito. Yesterday morning, we left the house to buy some beans, and at night we returned a babalito, and it, we, when we returned, a babalito was in La Casa Perito. Not in the little doghouse, exclaimed Esquibito. Uh-huh, said Poquito Tito. He's fa fanatica and so dramatica, and he bobbles and he nods in our attica. He must be in a pain and <laughs> he must be a pain in the skyatica. Said Skipito. Try my best, guys. He's a yes man, added Don Diego, and then all of the doggies nodded. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. A jambolito pain, agreed Poco do Poco Datito. And you are just what the doc the doctor not a doctor, a doctor ordered. This made the Puchitos feel so good that they all began to sing and dance. First you turn the music way up loud, then you nod your head up and down. And wag your loco tail back and forth to the chimichango rumba and the cha-cha-cha. Stop it! You are killing me, dudes! Said Skipito. <laughs> Enough of the monkey business, said Poquito Tito, as he pulled Skipito outside and over to a giant tortilla. Lie down and close your eyes, ordered Poquito Tito. Por qué? asked Skipito nervously. Because, dude, said Poquito Tito. At five o'clock, Abuelo Crispito will spill the frijoles. Not the beans again, said Skipito. At Cinco Bells, a chihuahua as old as Mansuma popped out of the holy boulder and Pituit brought forth three beans. It's a three-beaner, declared the perritos. Then they rolled Skipito into a three-bean burrito. Now we are sure to have good luck. Then the burrito was packed onto the skateboard and the rest of the puchitos, and together they rolled over the cliff into the valley of the dogs, singing as they went, Yes, sir, serito, clap, clap. It's the return of our war, El Skipito, clap, clap. A bird in his ear said we needed him here. It's kaboom to the big babalito, clap, clap. Los chimichangos and the burrito blew into the town of Pato Pato Ganzo far, faster than a flea on a flying furball. To the right, of the square stood La Casa Perito. Mira, Skipito, how old Don Diego, the nodding Babalito is up in the Attica. But Skipito was too scared to look. The, per the Peritos did not give a hutito about Skipito's jitters. They just wanted the, babalito, the Babalito out, and he was the dog for the job. With one big flourish, the perritos unrolled the tortilla and tossed the kitty boy and the beans up, up, up into the air until he landed on the roof of the doghouse. Go get him, Skipito, cried the puchitos. Oh, mamalita, cried Skipito, catching a glimpse of the hulking shadow of the babalito. He's looking into the attic and he sees the babalito. Boingy, boingy, bouncy, pouncy. Skipito flashed his naughty monkey eyes and lunged straight for the head of the babalito. Yee-haw-ito! hollered Skipito as he took the ride of his life. And in no time flat, the kitty boy brought that babalito right down to size. Faster than you could say chili, chili chewing chihuahuas, he grabbed the itty-bitty babalito and stuffed him into his pants. Lickety, splickety, rickety, tickety. Skipito rolled the railing all the way down to the front door. And he bounced into the 
into the good night air, landing right in the middle of the fluffy white tortilla. Los Chimichangos rolled Skipito up snug as a bug and began to chant, Muchas gracias, Skippy, Skippy Dippy Dango, Bye Babalito, Boogie Woogie Tango, Muchos Puchos, Lickety Licky Sticky Mango, Gozo Bozo, Chimmy Chimmy Chango. That's a silly song. And they carried the, par the parito all the way back to his room. Like he's wrapped like a burrito. With quiz kitties, when with quiz kizzy, quiz kitties over, Mama Junebug directed the ears, her ears towards Skippy John's very quiet room. Hmm, mused Mama. I wonder what he's up to. She told the girls to go and take a peek. He's all wrapped up in his old white blankie, said Jezebel, and he's talking to my itty bitty bobblehead, said Jujubee. Maybe he's thinking Siamese, added Jilly Boo. Really? asked Mama. Oh, he's such a little crumb cake. So his mom and his sisters are peeking in the bedroom to see what he's doing. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was still thinking Chihuahua. Do you like mice and beans? Skippy John asked the bobblehead. Then he touched the itty bitty kitty's nose with the tip of his blanket. The bobblehead nodded. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Me too, said Skippy John Jones. So was he really doing all that crazy stuff? No, it was in his imagination, right? And the babalito is this little bobblehead. A little bobblehead is like a little, it can be an animal or a person, and it looks like a statue, but the head part bobs up and down. Have you guys ever seen that? So that's why they call it a bobblehead, because the head goes bob, bob. And so in his imagination, he was trying to fight the bobblehead, and he wrapped himself in a blanket to look like a tortilla. <laughs>